Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing an unboxing for the month of May. And I know I'm late to this. I'm so sorry I'm late to this. I actually forgot I had the box. I did. <laughs> it was just sitting under here with all my other boxes and everything was stacking up on top of it. And I didn't see it until literally tonight. <laughs> I seen it and I was like, oh my God, today's 31st of May. I need to get this damn thing done so I can get it up like ASAP. So I'm filming this on the 31st, so I'm so sorry. You guys are going to see this like probably a week into June. I'm absolutely sorry. But it is the May base box. Now for the May base box, I have been seeing a lot of controversy for the May, ba May base box. There has been products in here that are based on like drugstore brands and that kind of thing, but for drugstore prices, I mean. For us paying $25 a month with BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is supposed to be like high-end, luxurious brands, blah, 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 that kind of thing. I've never knew or have ever heard of BoxyCharm doing like drugstore branded names or amounts, that kind of thing. Like it's always been high-end or luxurious brands. That's what I've always got in BoxyCharm every single time I don't know if they do do drugstore pricing I don't know for when it comes to their products that they throw in here Ipsy I know Ipsy does that because they advertise you know drugstore brands on their shit they advertise NYX they advertise CoverGirl I think they advertise CoverGirl they advertise Pixie you know there's a few other ones like L'Oreal I believe they do L'Oreal they advertise them on their site when you are picking what products from what brands you want to try. They even advertise e.l.f. I mean, so they let you know. BoxyCharm don't. BoxyCharm does not say one little thing about any kind of drugstore brand whatsoever when it comes to you picking the type of uh, brands that you want to test out. So I don't know what's going on with BoxyCharm. It just seems like from all the videos I've seen... They literally just took a bunch of different products and threw it in a fucking box and said, here you go. Because they're trying to use COVID-19 as an excuse, which I don't think is right. Because Ipsy, Ipsy's been kicking fucking ass. Like, I'm sorry. Ipsy has been doing so good, even through this COVID-19. And they're in fucking California. You know what I mean? They're in California. Even though they do shit from North Carolina, they're in California. And they're making sure that their people are getting the right shit. Box Charm ships from Georgia. Why can't you guys do the same thing that Ipsy's doing? You know what I mean? Ipsy is doing really good. Sorry, my voice keeps cracking. I think I did something to my vocal cords. So my vocal cords like been really scratchy for like over a week now. So I don't know what the fuck's going on with my vocal cords. But they keep getting like really scratchy and high pitched. And like they're just everywhere. Oh, I'm winded. <laughs> but without further ado, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell because you will be notified for all my future uploads. And I'm sorry that they always do not notify you for all uploads. So if you want to see if I've posted anything or have to go in and like go on to my channels or search anything in that manner. And it will let you know. And I have not been notified at all for when you guys are commenting on my videos. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with that either. I went in and went in my settings and it's even set to be notified for when you guys comment. So I can comment immediately right, you know, right away. I want to conversate with you people. I don't want to not conversate. That's not the whole point of this platform. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, again, without further ado, let's get on into today's video. For the box. Let's open the box. I'm kind of scared to open the box. I really am. I'm kind of scared because I'm worried I'm not going to be happy with it. For all the ones that I've been seeing, I just don't want to be displeased. You know what I mean? Because I am going to let you guys know this now. Before I even open it, I'm letting you know now. I did cancel my base box because I got the premium and I was so happy with the premium. I'm sorry. I was so, so pleased with the premium. Out of all of my boxes that I've got from BoxyCharm, premium was my most favorite. So, I mean, this may really determine, like, for sure, like, if I even ever bring BoxyCharm base box back. I don't know. We'll see, though. We'll see. <laughs> yep. This just determined me having base box anymore. It did. But we're going to get into the products, see what the products are all about, and then we'll get there. The first product is a perfume. Okay. Yes, it is a perfume, and it's by English Laundry, and I'm believing it's called Number 7. 
English Laundry number no. 7. The packaging actually is really, really cute. I like that packaging. It's very elegant and, you know, summery, spring kind of thing going on here. Oh, I like the bottle. The bottle's really pretty. There is the bottle. It's very pretty. I like the style of the bottle. Mmm, I like that. I could smell it through here already. Okay. That's a unique scent. It is. It's like floral and sandalwood. It smells like it's got a little bit of a cedar wood into it. And it's got like a sweet hint into it. It's got a bunch of different notes into it that I can't say. I am actually liking that a lot. So I am happy with the perfume so far. The next product I got is by Deborah Lipman and it is a nail polish set. I do not paint my nails very often. I have a shit ton of nail polish that is in my makeup drawers that just sits there. So I'm not going to open this. I'm going to put it in a future giveaway for you guys. And the shade names are Fire on the Horizon and Can't Stop the Feeling. These are what the nail polishes look like. They're actually really cute. I like the light baby pink. This one is a red. I know it kind of looks like a hot pink but it's actually red. I think my light is kind of like washing it out, but it looks like a true like red. So this will go in a giveaway for you guys. Oh, we got something good. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna try this motherfucker out now. <laughs> I've already set my face and everything, but I don't care. I'm trying it out. This is the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick, Stick Illuminator by Hourglass. And this is the shade rose gold flash oh i love this so much i have been finding out how hourglass is lately i did buy a blush through boxer charm actually and it is my absolute favorite blush i'm actually wearing it right now i love this blush so much it's diffused heat i think is what it's called and it's funny because jessica ron just bought this too which i think is funny the blush not not this <laughs> I'm going to get like a full face of hourglass and we are going to do a whole face of hourglass sometime soon. I don't know when because that shit's bougie and it's expensive as hell. So if I can get more and more through BoxyCharm, we'll be good. <laughs> but this is what the packaging looks like. They're just so freaking luxurious looking because they are. They're like high-end luxurious type brands. Oh, do you see my son's painting? You see it in the reflector? <laughs> my son painted that in his art class. It's watermark. So, okay, now I can kind of get a sense of as to what the foundation stick looks like in person because this is the same exact packaging as the foundation stick. So, let's see how much product we actually get inside of this because I know this is going to be an expensive ass highlighter for being hourglass. Oh, damn. You get a lot of product in this. Okay, that is all of it pushed up. Okay, that is a lot. I'm very, very shocked by that. What the fuck? Okay, with it being a stick, you think it wouldn't have oils in it or something, but do you see this? Do you seriously see that? I don't know if I want to put this on my face. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't smell like mold or anything, but I've never seen that before. Like, water on a product. Like, I'm legit nervous about doing this. Okay, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand, and I'm contacting BoxyCharm about this. And Hourglass as well, just to see. And I'm going to look at this batch number. And I'm going to let y'all know down in the description box if this is an old batch number. Because if this is an old batch number, this is absolute bullshit that they're giving this to us. Because they've already been having controversy on giving us expired product or product that wasn't even made originally by Hourglass. But by, I mean, with other brands, not Hourglass itself. But I don't know, man. Oh my look how beautiful it feels so creamy mm. oh 
Look at that beam. Mm, mm, mm. I know I wasn't going to do that because I was nervous about the whole like water thing. But I was actually looking it up really quick. And it's just condensation. So we're fine. I know I was acting all weird. I just broke that. I just seriously fucking broke that. What the fuck? Now I can't even get it out. I give up with this hourglass thing. I really am. There was condensation on it, and then now it just wants to snap on me and from screwing it back in. Wow, you can see the harsh line from where I put it on my face. Man, that is stunning. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm so bummed about the hourglass stick. The last two products are actually palettes. One's by Crown and one is by Beauty Creations. These both are priced at drugstore prices. So we're going to open them up, see what the fuck they're all about. We'll see. I'm not happy that this, these are in here either. This is not a good video today. This is not a good video, not a good review on the base box whatsoever, period. This is the one by Beauty Creations. It's called Cali Chick. I already have palettes that look exactly like this. So I still have the plastic foam on it, as you can see. I'm going to put this in a giveaway for you guys. So I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm not going to do anything like that. And if the other one doesn't catch my eye, it's going in a giveaway for you guys as well. Because this is going to be like all over Macari, I'm sure, because a lot of people aren't going to be happy that they even got this. I've never had anything by Beauty Creation, so it would be nice to keep it. But I rather would have something that I'm actually going to want to use other than something I already have a shit ton of shades of. You know what I mean? <clears throat> this is dirty. This has got like eyeshadow all over it. Like I know I'm sweeping it off right now because I need to hurry up. But seriously, I promise you guys, there is eyeshadow all over this fucking thing. I don't know if you can see, but there's just little flecks and stuff. And there's shit. There was stuff all over the back. This is what the pack palette itself looks like. It's very actually, it's actually really nice looking. And that is what the palette itself looks like. This palette looks dirty as fuck. Like, this seriously looks like it's been used. It looks like there's a fingernail indent into it. It looks like it's been swatched. Are you fucking serious right now? I don't know if you can see. In that shade right here. That looks like a fingernail indent. I'm definitely not going to give this to you guys. I can't do that. I can't. I'm going to actually contact BoxyCharm. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I will. I'll swatch a few shades for you guys. The ones that I'm actually going to feel safe touching. I'm not going to do any of the other ones. I mean, the shades are beautiful. And it was really buttery creamy. It's definitely got to have mica in it for sure. I kind of I like this one. This has like a rose gold yeah, I have a shit ton of shades that are similar to this. These are very, very flaky. Like, seriously, this is the Hourglass Vanish stick, but, like, it's just got that beautiful gold reflect into it. I will swatch this purple metallic. The, um, what the fuck? Dude. I don't want to do it too much. I barely dipped my hand into that, or my finger, like, barely dipped my finger into that I will try to press it back down yeah I was able to press it back down but these are super super flaky there is a shit ton of flake on these <laughs> dude I am not happy with this month what so fucking ever like I really I honestly don't even want to put this fucking video up and that is the shade that I was just showing you right there the one in the very middle is the hourglass highlighting stick but these actually, these actually are really pretty shades. They are. So I will keep this, of course, because I just watched it. But that is literally everything in the palette. Or <laughs> that is everything in the BoxyCharm for the month of May for the base box. I am not happy with it, like, whatsoever. The hourglass thing broke on me just from twisting it down. 
I don't like nail polish. I even have it set on my profile to not get nail polishes. They put two palettes in it that are set anywhere from like a $12 to a $15 each price point, And that took up two of my products that I couldn't got something better with. The crown palette looked like it was used and it was, you know, finger indent into it. It looked like it's been swatched. <sighs> I don't know. The only thing I like, literally, the only two products I did like was the Hourglass and the Perfume. Like, the palettes are pretty. They are. But I would like to have something that's high-end or luxurious. You know what I mean? That's what I'm paying for. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want this to be like a whole bitch moan, complain, pity party type thing. I really, I freaking don't. I just, I'm canceling the base box for good. I will probably never bring it back unless I start to see them doing it good again. I'm not going to have the base box for a while. We'll have premium every month. So just stay tuned for that. At least premium, I got really good high-end brands. I'm not happy about that. Because now I'm going to have to do this every time I want to use it. And I shouldn't have to. Or I'm going to have to dip my brush into it. Like, what happens when it starts getting really low? I'm so sorry that this came out to like this. And I'm so sorry that they did not give me a card. I can't tell you guys the prices on anything. The price points, absolutely nothing. So I will have everything down in the description box for you guys. And I will link the link for BoxyCharm just in case some of these may have intrigued you to want BoxyCharm. I will do that. I will put my referral link down there. I'm not affiliated with them in whatsoever. I'm not that fucking big. <laughs> this is just my personal referral link for my BoxyCharm stuff. But I have base box not, or I have premium not base box. And if you guys can see, I used the rose water palette on my eye from e.l.f. today. Huh. Because I asked uh, Nick, my husband, fiance, I asked, I always call him my husband, I asked my husband which one, I I was holding up, I was holding up Rosewater and Very Bad and he picked Rosewater and I'm so happy he did because these are just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I have my Hourglass uh, blush on with, and I put a little bit of the highlight on there, but... <laughs> Like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling this box this month whatsoever. I'm actually very disappointed. Honestly, I wish I could tell them I want my fucking money back and they could have every single product back. I would not even care. Even though that there's Hourglass in here and that perfume actually smells really, really good. There's only two out of five products that I liked. Like, it's just, it's just not for me. I'm sorry. I know I keep saying the same things over and over. So, if you guys do like these type of videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know whether or not you like it. You can hit thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Either way, it just lets me know what you do and don't like. If you guys do like my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And you will be notified for every single time that I upload. When YouTube decides to do that, I don't know. They need to get their fucking shit together. YouTube. <laughs> And as you can see, you can follow me on my social media accounts, my Twitter, and my IG. I don't post all the time over there because I'm a busy mother and I work full. I work <laughs> full time. So I hardly, I don't have time to dull myself up all fucking day. Go outside and take five hours taking a picture just for one fucking photo. I don't have that luxury. <laughs> whatsoever you get a picture of me in my fucking bathroom in the corner and that's not about it just saying that's legit what you get or i'm in here like that is literally it that's all you get i don't i'm not them instagram baddies i'm not that shit you're getting a mom mom life being 30 you know what i mean that's what you're getting so i hope you guys stay beautiful enjoy the rest of your day or night and bye